Can you explain multiple dimensions? I think in quantum mechanics, there are many dimensions. The mathematics is multidimensional. Um, the, the, the mathematicians can just invoke new dimensions you know, by the dozen. Um, in, in dynamical field theory, there's hundreds of dimensions. In string theory, there's 10 dimensions. In M theory, there's 11. But we can't imagine these dimensions. Um, so uh, extra dimensions come cheap in modern physics. Um, um, but it doesn't necessarily correspond to what people talk about on the basis of visionary experience, for example. Um, th the way I would think of multiple dimensions is, again, in terms of something like the dream world, that each of us has different dreams from each other. Sometimes we can have dreams that overlap. Um, sometimes when people know each other well, they share elements of their dreams. But uh, the kinds of dreams that we have here on Cortes Island may be very different from the kinds of dreams that Africans have in a village in Nigeria or that people have in Papua New Guinea or in other parts of the world. Um, and in those dream worlds, they'd, they'd be, sometimes they see gods and monsters and spirits that we've never heard of. Um, and those you could call different dimensions. So I think there may be many, many, many kinds of dream world. Um, but I personally don't use the, the word dimension because it's a, it's a mathematical term. Um, that is usually extrapolated way beyond its normal mathematical usage. So I'd prefer to say something like other dream worlds or something like that rather than calling them other dimensions. And how, to what degree any of these things correspond with these very mathematical abstract dimensions in physics, I don't know. Probably not very much. I mean, these mathematical abstractions are, are just that. They're abstractions that have virtually no imaginative content.